Hello there. <clears throat> this is J. Richard Varvel from the JRV Morning Show. Good morning and welcome to the show. I do want to uh, <laughs> uh, let you know what happened. I'm about five or six minutes late uh, and I was going on to a location. We were going to be first going to a medical facility. Uh, they were showing me that they wanted to put some healing into the grid through the medical industry and then because of time they were like, no, let's go to another facility, and uh, which was like one exit down from my house on Morning Drive. And uh, it happened to be Canyon Hills Church. And I was on the back side of the church, kind of off in the field, uh, I think like an overflow parking lot or something. And uh, the view from there was just tremendous, and it was gonna be great. Plus I was gonna talk about my conflicting uh, feelings about this weekend and the Easter holiday, uh, <clears throat> and what it means to the masses, <laughs> what I found in my own research, and then also what, you know, what other encoded messages are in the story uh, that uh, are still hidden from me and from others, but I'm, you know, not from everyone. Somebody knows, <laughs> and at the end of the day, uh, all that information's within anyways. So, uh, anyhow, so I got to the location, it was beautiful, and I got my tripod out, got, got my cards ready, and I was like, went to go grab my phone out of the car, and guess what I didn't have? <laughs> I did not have my cell phone. So I was like, well, this isn't gonna work. So I hopped back on the freeway and came back. And so uh, we're doing the, the show live from my house in the backyard. We're in a little bit different location because when I came in, I was reminded of something I learned from one of my metaphysical teachers and it felt like a valuable lesson to pass along, especially reminding myself uh, uh, um, this higher truth. Okay, so anyways, we're gonna go back to Canyon Hills tomorrow, I think, because it's just so beautiful. So I think that's gonna be a great spot. Uh, and then uh, upcoming this week, though, it looks like we're gonna be going to some kind of medical facility to uh, spread some love and light. Uh, but we're here today, and again, I just wanna thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. I feel like it was a little bit of a retrograde moment this morning. I've been noticing in general some of my technology has been glitchy and and or just slow or kind of like freezing on me so uh so you know i just use it as an opportunity to take a beat uh tune in go deeper and not let it get me frustrated um because that is easy to do especially if we're in a hurry okay <clears throat> so behind me you'll notice some flowers here um that are uh, blooming off of what looks like an aloe vera plant um, I just don't think it's aloe vera because I didn't know aloe vera bloomed, but I could be wrong there. <laughs> I haven't done my research. I don't know. And then right next door is the trash can. Okay, so here's the lesson. In any, exper in, <laughs> in any experience we face in life, uh, right in front of us, there's a garbage heap and there's a flower garden to focus on. Uh, they're always there. You know, we live in this world of duality. They sit together. And it's up to us, the conscious observer, to decide what do we want to focus on. The flower bed, the garden, the beauty, or the garbage heap. You know, the crap, the shit, the distractions, all the bullshit going on all around us. And at the end of the day, guess what? It's our choice. We get to decide. Uh, and it's very important for us to decide, in fact, because that is what is part of what is... Um, creating our ever unfolding reality. Yes, from moment to moment. So, what do you wanna focus on? The flowers, the beauty, nature, what's going well, what's going right, uh, or the garbage heap, what isn't going quite so right, uh, what could be going better, uh, uh, the, the, the word like the drudgery the humdrums of life you know focusing all all the heaviness the trash you know it's a choice we get to decide no one's going to choose it for us there's a lot of people that want to give us these quick fixes these pills to take this quick fix workout program you know you're going to lose it all in a week you're going to do it in a month yes you got it you know it's so quick <laughs> no it's not like that it's you know eating right <clears throat> And exercising, doing that whole uh, pyramid where it's like mind, body, spirit, as well as what we're taking into our body, how we're moving our body. All of these things matter, and they all matter on a consistent basis. Uh, and they all work together, 
Uh, and it's kind of like this juggling act as we move through life, as we go through these different phases, through these different cycles, uh, through these different uh, patterns uh, that, and roles that we play out. Uh, but again, we always get to decide. Are we going to see it as a flower garden, the beauty, or are we going to be pissed off, mad and angry, and uh, miss the point? Okay, that's my two cents. <laughs> uh, welcome to the show. Let's go over to the rose bush. I trimmed it back a little bit since the filming the commercial this weekend, so there aren't quite as many roses, but they're still here. All right. So let me just fix the tripod. <laughs> I was on a hill. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Okay, really quick, I'm just going to grab the cards and my coffee. Okay. Woo. Wonderful. Again, I want to thank you all for tuning in today, joining me live. I want to take this moment before I forget too to share about this cool, very cool, awesome bracelet that I just got. Uh, and it was a special, a special gift really. Uh, and I got it from Beautiful Sequence. It's a store downtown on 19th and I. And it's a clothing store. There's men's and women's clothes, as well as a spa uh, esthetician on site to do facials, uh, waxing of the eyebrows, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, and it's just a really super cool store. Uh, Bella and her sister own it. Uh, and uh, go in and say hello. They have some awesome treasures like this. This is from India. It's a really cool um, uh, silver, like an antique silver with this really cool stone that really has colors we work with all the time, violet and blue. So no accident uh, there, the synchronicity of this bracelet finding its way to me. Uh, so I just wanted to let you guys know there is a really cool store with awesome treasure. She has great sunglasses as well uh, over there at Beautiful Sequence, right next door to Riley's on 19th Street. Okay, <laughs> there we go. I just had to make sure I got my streets right. So, and I think it's important to support small business because it's important for us to uh, really appreciate those that are willing to be creative in that way and bring in product that you might not find at a big big box store. And I don't know if you've noticed, um, but a lot of those big, bo bigs, <laughs> big box stores are whew, leaving, by, kaput, dissolving, uh, because the ways are changing. Uh, we are really uh, beginning to see shifts in the reality and how we do business, how we buy uh, go goods and services, and that's going to continue to change as well as we also begin to add more earth-friendly ways to do it. Um, okay, I think that's going to do it for all that good stuff. So I want to, let's do the 11-11 uh, meditation and then we will get uh, into the card reading of the day and uh, go from there. All right, so let's go ahead and close our eyes together. We're going to use our imagination to go deeper, deeper and deeper within. And we're going to use any noise that we hear uh, on the outside, whether it's through the video <laughs> uh, or whether it is uh, some distraction that is wherever you are located physically. We're going to use that as an opportunity to go even deeper within. We're going to go underneath the noise, underneath the distraction, even deeper and deeper within. I would like you now to grow roots from the base of your spine and the bottoms of your feet down into the center of Mother Earth, connecting your energy consciously to the Earth energy, grounding your energy, allowing uh, all the discordant energy that might be hanging out in your energy field, any stress, any anxiety, 
any conflicted emotions, any conflicted feelings, just allowing them to drop down through our grounding cords, down through our roots, down into the earth, allowing the earth to alchemize all that energy for us. That's which is one of the things she is so good at, assisting us in remembering our core essence, our core energy, uh, by focusing on the earth's core. Uh, we are from the earth. We come through the earth. So it's very important as we go within and remember our connection within. As I've said before, it's an inside out kind of job. Inside out. All right, so now I'd like you to become aware of your gold and silver ball of light at the center of your heart space and begin to grow your gold and silver ball of light. This is your divine spark. Bigger, 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 going past your physical body suit, past your body. And we're going to take it out to 33 feet today, 33 feet. Again, that's a perfect spe sphere animated by your heart space like a star shining out in every direction, and that is what is creating this emanation, your emanation. This is your energy, your divine essence, your divine vibration and energy signature. This is what creates your unique and individualized reality, your personal reality, your personality, as well as all your gifts, abilities, and again, all the things that make you uniquely you. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a hug, appreciating all those things that make us individualized, all those things that make us unique and different. Yes, all those things that make us special and beautiful from the inside out. It always is from the inside out. There's a lot of entities that want to come from above. Want to come from the side, want to come from all over. And Watson's confirming, and the other dogs are confirming. Be careful, yeah, those entities coming from above and around and wanting to say that they're. So, again, tuning from the inside out, really being in our gold and silver ball of light, using the distractions from all around us to go deeper and deeper within, deeper and deeper within. Remember, it has nothing to do with what's going on on the outside, it has everything to do with what's going on the inside. Wonderful. So today, we're going to tune in. <coughs> today, we're going to tune in and send love out starting with ourself and then shining it out, radiating it out like a star in every direction. Uh, inevitably, we're going to be feeling that love throughout the entire universe. Um, but now we're going to start within your gold and silver ball of light, allowing this rose pink love of the Most High, this universal love in all of its many forms, in all of its many layers and levels, to come out through your heart space, out, shining out, filling up your entire uh, sphere of light. This is golden, uh, actually, excuse me, pink, rose pink light of the Most High that is love in all of its forms of the Most High coming through our heart space from the unlimited source within us, filling up our gold and silver ball of light, and then 
beginning to radiate out as our cup literally is full. It is now beginning to runneth over, so to speak, allowing this energy to radiate out in ripples, like a rippling effect, out, filling up our neighborhoods where we work, also filling up our cities, counties, going further to the state, going even further out, going around, filling up the country, the water sources, the oceans, all the countries that are all around the earth, filling up the entire earth above and below, going further out past the uh, atmosphere, out into the solar system. That love continues to expand, growing, growing from the unlimited source within you. Just allow it to flow. Um, you do not have to uh, make this happen. This is flowing from your heart space out like a star in every direction if you allow it to. Yes. If you feel any resistance, allow that resistance to go down the grounding cord, letting it go. We are just and only sending out this love and light of the Most High. And we are sending it out in every direction, again filling up the entire solar system now, going out further, uh, beginning to fill up the entire Milky Way galaxy, going out even further and further until it encompasses the entire universe. That is how powerful you are. When you use your God frequencies from the inside out. And we're just going to allow this energy to move through us. Yes. We are the boots on the ground. We're the ground crew, so to speak, of these divine forces. And they are emanating out like a star in every direction from the center of our heart space. Out. It's all coming from within you. Let's take a deep breath. One more. All right. <clears throat> Wonderful. Again, we're allowing this energy to move through us. We are mighty transformers of this divine light. And again, this costs absolutely nothing. And it comes from the unlimited source of energy, from the infinite source creator that is within us, shining out like a star in every direction. Another deep breath. Yes. All right. That feels complete. Uh, I would like you to uh, thank your Light Align team. Thank the entire, um, all the forces of love, of the Most High. Thank yourself. Yes. Give yourself a huge pat on the back. Great job. Thank you for joining me, whether you joined with me live or in the archives, beginning to wiggle your fingers and toes and open up your eyes whenever you are ready. Yes. So that was very fantastic. Um, very powerful. And this is something that we can do at any time. You know, getting ourselves clear, grounding our energy. We can even add that violet flame in there uh, to assist in the alchemical processes. And then we just radiate that love out like a star in every direction, filling ourselves up first and allowing it to ripple out. Very powerful, something we can do often. Uh, really allowing these energies and these forces to move out through us. Again, helping us to remember that we are the ones co-creating this reality. It is not happening to us. And it only feels like it's happening to us when we've given all of our power away. All right, so let's see what the card of the day is. Card of the day. Okay, let's do a little fun hat. Oops. Oh, they might take a long time. Okay, I'll download some people, some fun little characters, and we'll do that. <laughs> we'll do that some other time. I, got, I saw the magic wand on the screen for some reason. It just stuck out to me, so... Anyhow, we'll keep keep <clears throat> keep on with the card reading here. Highest and best good card of the day for oh, the collective. Ooh. P 
peace. Peace. All right, peace. Again, uh, the first message of peace is that peace is an inside job like all the rest. Uh, being peaceful within doesn't come from having a peaceful life on the outside. Uh, and uh, Peace is a choice. Uh, being able to uh, unify polarizing uh, ways of thinking, ways of viewing the world is part of what creates peace. Uh, merging, uh, uh, cre uh, all, uh, like uh, connecting the dots and then creating a bigger picture from all the dots really assists in creating peace. Um, choosing peace, choosing peace in our life helps us to again reinforce uh, that peace uh, from an action step. So uh, peace again is not passive. Uh, it is something that we have to choose, especially in a reality like this where a lot of people are very war-minded, like we need to go to war to have liberty. We need to um, go to war to uh, fight the terrorists. You know, there's just a lot of animosity and a lot of uh, really uh, hateful, uh, warmongering energy balls that just keep getting passed around the planet. Not only through us personally, but through us collectively in these big wars uh, that get played out on the world stage. They don't call them theaters of war for nothing. Uh, okay, so peace, again, it's a choice. Uh, it's an inside job. It's something that we have to really uh, f tune into the uh, vibrations and allow uh, that process of uncovering the layers of all the shit, the distractions that really kind of gum up our system, gum up our way of really tuning into our spiritual sight and tuning into our internal guidance system where things might be off or our mirrors might be inverted, really giving us misinformation or blind spots. So there is a process of uh, merging these frequencies, unifying these frequencies within us, harmonizing and balancing and aligning all of our energies and all of our energy bodies together and so they're working together instead of feeling like they're all these opposing forces. Uh, so that is what is up for those that are, uh, I feel like there's a new level, a new layer of peace uh, to tune into uh, that is emanating throughout the planet, partially from all those that were focused on love yesterday um, through different religious activities that were going on uh, as well as uh, the energetic that has been setting up this year, this new year, this new energetic that we're stepping into these new cycles because we've closed out a nine-year cycle last year. We had some finishing up to do uh, at the beginning of this year and now as we uh, continue to have spring roll out, uh, we're really getting going here into what's next for us, stepping into these new opportunities, these new possibilities, uh, but we, uh, we, they only really arrive and show up when we have uh, arrived uh, at these new levels and layers of peace within because that's what allows us to see these opportunities because that's when that peace allows us to be present. And when we are present, that's when we're able to see the bigger picture. So all these forces work together. All right, that feels complete. Peace, everybody. Peace, peace. Yes, I say peace. We just, I call... <laughs> on all the uh, divine energies of love to assist in peace on this planet um, and to highlight those peaceful possibilities that are available to us right here and now uh, that we can choose instead of uh, going to war, instead of killing and hurting each other even more. Okay. <clears throat> so, thank you all for tuning in live as well as those that joined in in the archives. Uh, I do apologize for the uh, late start, uh, but all is well, um, and I just trust that all is in the divine flow. I even had on my way on the freeway back home, 578 uh, in the car ahead of me, and that is important to me. I'm born in May, and I, the year I was born in 78, so that is a, a confirmation number to me, uh, as well as I 999 tripped over on the odometer as I was coming home as well, which is all about completion as well as like really um, putting all of our energy and emphasis into our spiritual work and our um, 
just living out our life purpose. So, and I feel like that's all unfolding and, and moving in the direction I would like it to go. So lots of confirmation. So even though I was late, it's all good. Uh, and I appreciate you being flexible uh, with me. And I would just say, uh, where can you be uh, more flexible with yourself as well as where can you be more flexible with those around you? Uh, because flexibility allows the energy to move just a little bit more freely. Okay, that's going to do it for today's show. I want to thank you all again for joining me. I have a quick reminder. I did a commercial, uh, as many of you might have seen, but if not, check it out. Uh, which is all about my upcoming event at the Enchanted Cottage this Saturday. Sacred Aromatherapy is back. <clears throat> and this time, we're bringing it into the classroom. I'm going to teach some energy tips and tricks, along with using my essential oil blends uh, in uh, conjunction together to uh, show what's possible when we merge not only our energy forces, but also use something like aromatherapy to assist us uh, in uh, bringing in more ease and grace into the experience. Uh, and in May, uh, there is the fifth annual Mystic Fair. It's uh, Enchanted Cottage's biggest event of the year, and that is coming up May 20th. And I'll be one of the readers there. I think there's 12 other readers, or maybe 11 other readers. Uh, everybody's super fabulous, and I'm super excited to be a part of that event as well. That's coming up May 20th. You can call 661 323 9929 for details and more information as well as to RSVP and purchase tickets. So uh, Bruce and Stan will take care of you. All right, so that's gonna do it. Like I said before, I just wanted to get that quick uh, reminder in there because it is coming up this Saturday. Oh yeah, and I'll also be at the Mars uh, 420 event that's happening this coming Thursday. It's a huge event. There's going to be live music, all kinds of uh, vendors, and uh, free uh, giveaways. So check out the Mars Attacks 2 event that's coming up 420 uh, this coming Thursday. And I believe it is from like 2 to 9 or something like that over there at the Mars Collective. All right. <clears throat> I love you all. Surrounding everybody with a big, huge, giant hug of love today. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 11. Bye-bye, everybody.